Guys, it's time to collect the season ending rewards. I hope it's good like uh, last season. And we're back to Pro 1 again. Ah, uh, this time we did not get Messi, we end up with Neymar. Okay, but uh, the other rewards are the same. Uh, last time around I got Messi, so I think in terms of coins, maybe last time I had better, but uh, the XP and the coins are good. Then we get Neymar as well. The reward structure seems to be uh, just like the previous seasons, but guys, there's a Primaldini, but I'm never getting any of these. Yes, I may get in case if I get lucky, like I did with the Vendor Sand and holding boost. That's a that's, that's an amazing one. Wow, Maldini with the holding boost. Uh, we got Abraham Ovech, uh, again that's uh, possible only if you spend a lot, but nice to see a 91 uh, center back this time uh, because there are plenty of 91 uh, midfielders and 91 center backs are uh, like rarer. I could definitely use one for uh, rank ups purpose. Try and be a player, I hope I make it back to uh, FIFA champion. I'll try to make it back to FIFA champion quicker guys so that uh, more people get a chance. I'm happy uh, I did that I did it with like uh, one week left last time around. There is no fun in uh, beating people at all. Uh, whose overall is too much uh, below mine. So the fun is when I actually do beat people my overall or higher overall. Everything else, guys, uh, everything else looks exactly like uh, it was the pro pass. Uh, it is good. It could help us. It could uh, set us up with the weekend tournament. Okay, there's a bet over here. We have to buy a pass for him, of course. And guys, again, this is the best offer because it gives 10 tournament vouchers. What, how much it costs? Yes, again, it's 700, for 700 points, guys. We get two uh, into five vouchers, that's 10 vouchers, which uh, cost, which would cost 1,000 FIFA points. And then we get an 86 right at Beto, who could help us in the weekend tournament. And two more elites as well. I uh, hope we get a free uh, 87 over here. Yes, a left wing. I don't know they're obsessed with why they're obsessed with left wing is because we get a lot of those in this place. Okay, so again, uh, in legendary also, we should have a couple of players, I guess. I did not buy the pass, uh, legendary or FIFA champion pass in the previous two seasons. Here we get an uh, color row. Okay, nice. Uh, 88 left back. So everything else is that only the players are changing guys. The rewards seem exactly the same. We should have uh, another 90 or less. Yes, a uh, right midfielder with a counter boost guys. That is nice because uh, that is my favorite boost for a midfielder in an attacking position. Counter boost is pretty nice. Okay, we should have, yes, uh, a central defense midfield, a generalist boost, I'm not happy with that one, but yeah, guys, uh, we have our season three here, which is nice. Okay, so we're starting the new season well, uh, just my first man this season, the second uh, plus four overall, and 
we score all the great chances and the good chances. We miss three basic chances. Would want to improve on that. If I do that, I want to want to be able to be uh, consistently score about ten uh, goals per game. Uh, because guys, we will always concede. We have to learn to score more. In the next match, we get lucky and we face someone with an overall eight overall advantage, and we win comfortably. I already got in like uh, two matches after the reset, so now two more. I'll have to play one more, and then uh, I think I can uh, get the pro pass and get an elite. They would be they would cost a uh, fortune at the moment. I uh, couldn't perform well in the third match, uh, but uh, still won. So we are three out of three. That's nice. And guys, we improve by playing against tougher opponents. So that's what I would prefer. I wouldn't wait uh, for the last day. I will. I'll move up as soon as I can. There's no fun in uh, beating guys with a uh, ten overall advantage. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and buy the pro pass. Most probably I'll buy the pro and world class passes. That's what I did in the first two seasons, and I most probably I'll continue doing that only. Okay, we will get some. Okay, gold plus uh, one gold plus player. I checked in the store, but I did not see any offers. I mean, not to buy the packs, but to see uh, all the available players, but I couldn't find any. Okay, here we go. Oh, we get a 73. But the center back, I hope he has a decent boost. Okay, come post boost. Uh, could be useful for me, actually. Fine. There's a decent one. Yeah, I would have preferred a 79, but uh, since he has come boost, boost even if 73, that's fine. But this is gonna where I want uh, someone big. If I would get someone big, guys, today if you get an 85 or something, as I just sell because uh, they would sell for millions today and we can buy them back at a later date, at a very lesser place. Okay, here we go, and we end up with an 82. Uh, not bad, uh, definitely not bad. Okay, uh, acceleration boost. Uh, okay, he cannot dribble, so I will most probably just sell him, and I uh, most probably just sell him. I would love to see uh, what others get as well. Guys, if you bought the pass, then let me know which place you guys got in the comment section down below. And guys, and I have found out a uh, season, couple of season three plays the market. We get Gabriel Jesus. That's uh, that should be a nice one. Yes, he has a ninety-five dribbling. Uh, I guess uh, he has a, should be a smooth card. Okay, the. Would be definitely interested in getting him. Ah, we got a striker, but sadly not give you Jesus. And I got a central midfield with the captain boost. Nice, you are just players. These would, uh, they would be going for like three million at the moment, and soon we will see them uh, down to I don't know one week, uh, and we will see them down to. 500k, 600k, so if I get some, I would sell today. And guys, have you seen this one? The extra lineup. This is one feature many of us have been asking for a long time, and I'm pretty happy they brought this one, which means we can like uh, set up our team for say we can tournament uh, without changing our defense for the league tournament league versus league tournaments uh, which was a big problem earlier on 
So now uh, very nice to see that they have actually changed something uh, for good. Because it's like, uh, you can see I only made one change in this lineup. Uh, it's getting that gold center back uh, who, with, who becomes uh, 85 now with the boost active, then active boost. Okay, which is nice. And we can see we can change this one. I uh, still need to learn some more things about this lineup thing, but uh, I'm still happy. Developers said that uh, we can use this for the league tournament defense and one for the weekend tournament and all. I hope it works that way. I'm yet to understand it completely. Guys, we can always head over to the FIFA renders or forehead databases to see the players. The VSA is in three players. You can see that Maltini looks amazing. I hope I pack him in some coin pack someday. Okay, so the first stones we already saw. That's Gabriel Jesus and Panic as well. We saw. Oh, we got a right wing pack. Uh, Martins with base boost and Navas. Okay, Navas with a handling boost. A lot of Real Madrid fans were uh, asking for some special card for Navas. That's nice to see. Let's come. Can Dembele uh, right forward 83? That's nice. Uh, and there's some counter boost right mid. Again, uh, should be very nice. 83 Brooks. Uh, Rooney okay, is a forward shooting boost. Lucas uh, pace boost. Then I wish I got someone like Gabriel Jesus or even Navas. Okay, we got Hernandez. Oh, still not bad, guys. <laughs> a lot. Uh, again, again, oh, Liverpool fans also get a special uh, card of their goalkeeper. Nice. Temple Smalling with an aggression boost. Uh, should be nice. Oh, uh, Sacco again with an aggression boost. In Yemma with reflexes boost. That will be a lot. Uh, okay, Henderson also get a special card. Uh, I would be a lot interested to know the special cards for the gold players. Because they play a huge role in my lineup. Uh, we have a few more of those. I'm not allowing the boost on some of them. But yeah, with weekend tournament limitations, I may have to play some out of position as well. So uh, maybe hopefully it doesn't matter too much. Here we get a right midfield with a base boost. Uh, it's kind of nice. Could be useful if I play 3 5 2. Again, another left midfield with base boost as well. Again, uh, for 3 5 2, LM and RM are very important. And play that formation, those two could be key. Okay. We get uh, Hakimi as well of Real Madrid. So we get a couple of players from Liverpool and a couple of players from Real Madrid as well. I'll check the stats and everything about them and I will, I will create like uh, the best possible 11. I'll let you guys know the same as well guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. See you guys later.